Okay, hey guys, it's me, Malitsky123, or the side pixels, 1, 2, 3, 5, and, yeah, today we're making a video on how to make a Lego Warthog from Halo, because I'm a very big fan of Halo, and I like Lego too, so I make a lot of stuff out of Lego. Based on Halo, now where did that piece go? I found that piece, give me a second. I like pressing buttons. Red versus blue reference there. Watch it, need. Okay, that's a KSI reference. Yeah. Now it's a lot of YouTube. A lot of YouTube. A lot. Okay, sorry guys, I'm just like doing some stuff, like taking some of it apart. Okay, so um, I'm going to start with the turret. So if you just want to like pause it or something, so you got like three pipes. I've got like those attachment thingies, thingy bajigs. Those like clip on bits that let you clip it on, and those like round things that lead onto there. Then I just put a clip on thingy on top. Then I got these clips and put these in. There's like one of those all rounded thingies. There's one of those um, slide things there. Same as I used to attach those. And it's got like a pole sticking through it, which I attached this using, which is two clips, uh, a one by two thingy, and then another two clips underneath. So, like that. Like that. And then I used um, one of these, and it's like the one on top, and then the two on the sides. Clip that in, and then attach this. It's like the handles. And I made the body. Sorry, guys, this video is not going to be too long because I don't feel too well. Um, if I disassembled it completely, it would take too long um, to remake it because my thingy doesn't have that much memory and it just takes like forever no, I mean forever to reassemble it on camera it took me like 20 minutes last video last time I tried it and this is why I'm making it short this time because um last video it was like really short uh, long and it just took forever and I just couldn't do it because yeah just took too long. Like I got so close to finishing it, and then my camera ran out of battery. So here you got like two binoculars, use clipped on using one of those like round thingies with the two things on the end. So, so I'm bad at describing things. Uh, I use one of those like two clip on thingies like that, like that. Uh, a one by four there, one of those like shaped thingies. The I keep I said thingies like a thousand times in this video now already. One of the mini cones, uh, another one of those shape thingies, the same one as up here, underneath that, and you got like the two by one next on top of that. So like and then uh, uh, that's just a two by one there. This is a six by four at the bottom. Two by four, uh, one by four. So that's a six by six there. Uh, a one by four. Then another one by four smooth. Uh, there's a two by one here underneath this, and then you got these uh, one by four smooth. Two by one is pretty much the same on that side, and I'm just gonna quickly take that off, and I'll see if I can take this off. So you see, and then like a one by four, a one by two here in the middle. Like a one by two there and one by two there, one by two on top, one by two on top. Then you get like one of these things uh, attach one of these sort of like one by twos with this thingy on top. Two red bits like that. Um, uh, a one by four, a two by four, two thing there. One of these rounded things. Put two of those on the end, and you pretty much got your like main body part. Hang on, I just need to clip that back on. Uh, I forgot to say um, this rounded bit, uh, like one of these spinny bits and that, 
that's where you attach the turret so I'm going to do that now quick um, there like that and then the turret spins and stuff I'm just going to move that over there for a minute okay I'll do the main body next so I'm just going to put it break it into two so it's a lot easier to explain so um, here we got uh, a two by a four by six base plate then you get these two sort of like things a s one by two smooth one by two smooth there one by two smooth but with like the one piece there and you do two of those in the middle there so like there and then that'll be smooth smooth uh, there's a cone there and a smooth one there then here you do a 1x6 on top of this layer right on the edge there uh, let me quickly take this apart and show you there we go so you got like a 1x6 with a, a 2x6 there 1x6 on top uh, two studs a 2x4 there with a 1x4 on the edge and you get this one by six, uh, two by six. You get three of these shape things. Put them in a line, preferably like two of one color and one of a different. Then you get like this, and on the second half, you like put it down like that, so it's overhanging like the edge of there. Do that for both sides, and then you get like a cone sort of thingy. Put it in the middle. Just put that over the top there. Sorry guys, just blow my nose. Uh, uh, that's pretty much that bit. That's the second half of that. And you got like a 1x6. A 1x6 there, 2x6. 1x6, 2x... Uh, it's not 2x6 actually, that's that bit there. It's just like a 1x2 on the edge there. And then you do that for that side as well. And you put like... Um, let me quickly attach this. Okay, well, underneath this, there's um, there's a one by six there, and um, there's a one by four there, just behind this. There's like a one by four there. Okay, so. You got like a one by one by two by one, two by one, one by four behind this. So, um, and then a one by six there. Uh, then you get this like one by four, big piece. Put it there. Put this on top. Get like a one by two on that side where the steering wheel is. Then you get like one of the stud, the square studs, and put one of these clip thingies on. Put a gun in there. Make sure it's like pointing diagonally, so it's like that sort of diagonal, like diagonal. Like that's yeah. Well, you know what I mean. Sorry, I'm just. Just ignore me for a minute. Like that. Then you do the same with this side. So it's like. That. And this goes on here. Um, oh, and finally the bonnet. Uh, I'll just quickly disassemble a bit of the bonnet. Um, sorry guys, I'm just disassembling the bonnet a bit. Just so you can see, like, what's inside, because most of the bonnet's pretty covered up. Uh, here we go. There we go. Okay, so this is like the. Well, there's a bit more of the bonnet in a second, but I'll show it to you in a minute. So, like, uh, what I did is you get two of these ones with the stud on the side, you put a square stud. One of these one by three sort of slanted ones. Oh, you also get. Let's see if I can take these off. 
like that. You see that the one with the two holes? You get this onto that. Uh, sorry, I'll just clip this one back on. So it looks like that. It goes on there. Then you got like a one by four, a two by four, another two by four. Then on top of that two by four, under this, there's a one by two. Underneath this, there's one by two, one by two, one by two, and then like one of those, the same as this piece, in there. And then you get a one by four on top of that piece, and put two of these slanted ones here. But yeah, also if you want to make it look a bit better, you could just like sort of tilt these in a little bit because they do tilt in tiny bit but don't push too hard otherwise they'll fall off so like and then you put on you put a what a two a four by four on top and then you put a one by two there and like a one by two stud thing then you get one of these there's two different types of these there's one where it only goes up to like there and then there's these ones which are longer you put that on there and you get this attach it like that so also it hangs off the edge a bit and you go on the other side and just to make sure that it stays attached you get a 2x4 and do that so that's your bonnet now um that's pretty much all of the vehicle done actually that was actually a lot quicker than I thought it would be even though it wasn't that quick it took 11 minutes but last time it took like 20 so you know it's a lot quicker than twice so you um this you just attach there. Uh, just give it a little press down. Okay, so it should look like that. And the gun should be like facing forward. Once the gun's facing you, whichever like way you decide to have the gun facing, I recommend facing forward because it like sort of jams whenever you go like too far one way. You can like go that far that way and that far that way. I know it's a bit weird, uh, but hey ho. Uh, then you this bit like there's a slot here. And this four bit, and you got like two bit there. Just attach that in there. Sorry, I can't get a good view without the light being on it. Oh, there we go. And just like clip that in. So it should look like that. Just lay this on a flat surface, um, and just press that down like that we do is um, next you get for the front wheels you get uh, sort of like you can get thick tires like those I just couldn't find any so I use these uh, you get one of these you put a four a two by four on it thick and a two by four thin and you put that here so like there and then we do is you get this one which is just like a 2x4 where it's the 2x4 thick 2 by well that's the one that's attached to 2x4 thick and 2x2 two two thick and you just attach that there so like in the middle there and you have your Hello Warthog um hang on let me see if I pass in quickly for Okay, this is gonna be like, oh no, yeah, well this is gonna be completely random. Oh, I dropped him. Okay, nice. Get in Indiana Jones. I haven't tried putting anyone in here before. I just don't feel like it. That's the first time for everything. Hang on, let me just quickly move his arms up. So it looks like he's driving. And like the people fit in there. And it all works out. So, um, yeah. And the turret spins and stuff. 
I don't think it spins that way, no it doesn't. Well, I guess it could do if you, well, if you made some alterations to it. Like, um, actually yeah, hang on, Look how it can spin. Let me just quickly attach the turret. Okay guys, um, I'm going to end the video in a second. But I'll just quickly show you how you can make the turret spin. But it won't be like, it doesn't look as good like spinning a lot better while it's not spinning but hey ho if you want it, if you want it to spin you can make it spin I'm not gonna say don't make it spin or something just because it just doesn't look as good if you're that desperate for it to spin you can make it spurn sorry guys it's just this really stiff that sounded so wrong in so many levels and don't put that in the comments because that's like obvious there we go okay guys so you could do this right. move the two bottom ones forward a bit doesn't look as good maybe just because that's that it's attached and it counts a bit maybe it doesn't look as good and it's much better like this because it looks like a beast it looks like a beast player uh, sorry guys I haven't been uploading much lately um I've been working on some of the remixes stuff. I was going to say this at the beginning, but I forgot, so, you know, I've said it now. Um, my remix stuff, and, um, uh, I'm going to be making, like, a YouTube album thingy. I'm not actually going to produce an album. Well, I might do. I might even put a download link for it called Climax, because most of the songs I've been making, they, like, the remixes, the two songs Climax at the exact same time. Um, like, if you haven't seen my remixes, uh, I've put two on YouTube, there's, um, AC Eclipse, which doesn't climax, actually, I don't think, um, I don't think, but AC Nova, which is my other, uh, remix, which was my first one, that, like, climaxes at the same time, so, you know, um, I got a pretty cool album cover as well, actually, which I made on Photoshop, so... Uh, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, uh, it's been me, Pegasus, and my trusty companion, which is Mr. Halo 4 Light Rifle, which actually doesn't look that much like a light rifle, but took like, five hours to make, no joke, five hours or so to make, because I had to find all the pieces, I used like, 500 bricks, uh, I think I used more than 500 actually, um, and it's, it's over a meter and ten centimeters long. Yeah, I actually measure measured. That's about as long as my foot, like leg. It's almost up to my rib cage sort of area, just below that, like halfway up my stomach. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. It's been me, the Cyber Pegasus One Two Three. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers for watching.